morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's actually, uh, it's actually afternoon already. But here we are, living the dream, trucking. There's some freight. That's the same freight we picked up in Calgary. We're gonna continue on with it. I believe it's going through to uh, Drayton, Ontario, or is it Dayton, Ontario? It's like the GTA, Greater Toronto area. It's Southern Ontario, it's all the same to me down there. So we have a two day drive ahead of us now. We're leaving here today. So we'll have all day today into the night and then all day tomorrow into tomorrow night. And then we'll deliver the following day after that, get this off the trailer, get some freight coming back here to Western Canada. We'll see what we come up with. For now, let's get out there and let's get some trucking. Let's get some trucking behind us. Let's do some trucking. Can't even talk. I didn't have time to wash Old Blue off this weekend. It was pretty busy. We got this done for one day and uh, yesterday, my mother-in-law came down and uh, spent some time with Theo and watched him while we went out on a little anniversary date night. Went to Boston Pizza. So, that was fun. And now it's time to get back to work. No time to get a bath, but we'll see if we can get one in Southern Ontario once we get down there. All right, it's time to leave. Tug test on my trailer. Just uh, triple check, make sure that that's coming with me. I need that. Off we go. Nipagon or Hearst 
Ontario or Capus Casing. We'll see how much time I have when I'm going through there. I might fuel up a Capus Casing just enough so I can get a, a shower. But I'm not going to fuel up completely up north there because it's very expensive. I'll wait till I get into southern Ontario to fill up my tanks completely. I'll just give myself enough fuel to make sure I get down there and maybe enough that I get a free shower. We'll see what happens. We'll worry about that tomorrow. That's a tomorrow problem. Today, all of our problems are all solved. We have one mission now, eastbound into Ontario, as far as we can get. It'll be into the night. Such a late night tonight. I got going later than I wanted to, but uh, we'll make it work. We're not behind, we'll say that. those of you that have been telling me to get a microphone today's your lucky day I've actually had this microphone for uh, a while already it was gifted to me probably over a year ago already and I I haven't had the chance to set it all up I needed some extra equipment on my GoPro uh, for it to work on it and I've had it for a little while but I've always been happy with the audio that comes straight out of the GoPro camera however I realize that uh, and I was sort of getting tired of yelling at the camera because when I'm sitting back here in my seat, uh, you know, the microphone on the camera is far away from me. So we're going to give this a shot. I've got this uh, wireless microphone tacked up right here by me. That way I don't have to yell at the camera all the time for you guys to hear me. I just, I don't think that it's going to pick up a lot of the truck noise. So you might just see the road and hear my voice without any, like, I always liked hearing the truck in the background, right? So. I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys think. We'll use this for a couple of vlogs for this week and I'll see how I like it when I'm editing it up. And, and we'll see, see if I open my window like this. I used to have to leave these windows rolled up because there's no way you can hear my voice over an open window before. Now I bet you it'll be just fine. So well, we're gonna test this out for today. So I'm in uh, Eastern Manitoba here coming up to the Ontario border soon and uh, I've been driving for about an hour and a little bit hour and 15 minutes and I've probably got about another 10 11 hours ahead of me yet in Canada like I've just told you before we're allowed to drive 13 hours in a day so uh, I have 11 hours and 30 minutes exactly available to me to drive today yet. and I I want to use it all I'd like to get to uh, somewhere near Hearst, Ontario, if I can. Uh, I mean, we'll see how I feel. That's going to be running pretty late. I'll probably get there like 3, 4 in the morning then. Uh, I just want to get far enough today that I can do the rest tomorrow so I can make sure that uh, I'm at my appointment on Tuesday. Okay, it's official. Here... Here goes the four lane divide, and for the most part, this is the end of the four lane divide. There's a little bit into Ontario that they've built recently, and there's a little bit near Thunder Bay as we go through there, and you know, little bits here and there. But for the most part, this is the end of the four lane divide, and we have about 2,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles of this in front of us now two-lane highway through the Canadian Shield of Northern Ontario. Why has it not been twinned yet, you say? It's 2024. Well, 
I wish I had an answer for you. I'd like to know too. The the answer, the official answer, will obviously be money. There's just not enough money for it. Well, I beg to differ. I am pretty sure we can take money from a bunch of other useless things that we've been spending money on and spend it on something very useful, like a four-lane divided highway for our economy to boom with. You know, safety on the highway, the, the, the economy would move faster east to west, obviously, because you wouldn't have this ridiculous slow-moving highway. I mean, I say slow-moving, but, you know, people fly through here so fast, and everybody wants to get through here, right? Nobody's getting paid by the hour. Everyone's getting paid by the miles. So these guys are just... The speed limit's 90 kilometers an hour once we hit Ontario, and people are doing 105 minimum. If you're not doing 105, you got guys right up your rear end tailgating you, wanting you to go faster. The cars are doing 120, 110. It's, it's scary, and it's like a twisty, windy road. If you haven't been up here before, you'll see once we get in there. But it's... It's kind of dangerous. And it's getting more and more dangerous with the people that they have behind the wheel of some of these trucks out here now. So, yeah, investing in safety of Canadians, I think, should be first priority, right? Spend our money here first. It's, it's our tax money. It's supposed to go to help us, right? I don't know. That's a whole conversation for a different channel. I know the majority of you, like 99% of you, agree with me, so I'm preaching to the choir here. The other 1% of you, well, you do you. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time though. I mean, it'll be a good ride through here. I've done it many times and looking forward to it. It gets really scenic once you really get into the Rocky Shield. It's, uh, you, you can Google it sometime. Go to Google and Google the Canadian Shield if you're wondering what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty cool geological region of the world. It was formed by melting glaciers. Lots of lakes in here. Lots. Go look at it. Go look at uh, northwestern Ontario, close to where Manitoba is, and just zoom in a little bit on Google Earth. Look at how many lakes are here. It's insane. down a lot earlier than I expected to, I forgot. So we're past the uh, fall equinox now, which means we're halfway to the shortest day of the year from the longest day. And up here when you're this far north in Canada, that means a lot. It means more than some other places, I'm thinking. I mean, along the equator, I'm guessing you guys probably barely notice the difference. But way up here, that's a big deal. We're like, oh, we know what that means. Dark days, cold weather, but it also means Christmas, so something to look forward to. Driving through here, though, in wintertime, is a, it adds an extra layer of risk. You don't want to break down when it's super cold on a two-lane highway like this when it's dark. It's turned out to be a beautiful day out. Temperature outside is 14 degrees Celsius or 58 Fahrenheit. This guy is hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. I'm not sure why, there might be someone in front of him, so I'm just gonna give him a little bit of extra space here. So this is Dryden, Ontario. You can see the big paper mill factory in front of me. Slide left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 17. That's what Dryden is known for. I'm sure most of Dryden works at that mill, at that plant. I think I'm going to swing into the Esso Husky truck stop just around the corner up here. And uh, go and get myself a coffee. Just stretch my legs a little bit. There's not too many good places to stop. Just going through Northern Ontario, the services are extremely limited.
but I've got a long way to go yet. I still have nine hours and 11 minutes left on my clock. So I don't want to take up too much time. I don't want to drive further into the night than I have to. Wildlife is a real problem up here at night. Prefer not to run at night, but sometimes it's just, it is a little better because there's less traffic. A little riskier though, you know? We just gotta get around the corner. We gotta go to the right, a little to the left, go underneath that walkway. It used to be called Husky, the truck stop we're gonna stop at. I am, I've told you many times before. That Ford dealership there is called Dingwall Ford. That's a unique name. That's one you'll remember. Where'd you get your truck? Got it at Dingwall Ford. I'm not really making fun of it, I'm just saying that's a memorable name. Can't forget that. You know, it's probably a great selling point, you know? It's great advertising. All right, here it is, just off to the left. It's kind of nice not to have to scream at the camera for you to hear me. Oh, this guy's just creeping, bud. Just creeping. Like, okay. Glad I'm not going to be behind behind him. We'll probably catch up to him down the road, guaranteed. It's always the guys who go like really, really, really slow that never stop to go to the bathroom. Like they're always on the road. They'll get in front of you and then you get stuck behind them again. Don't you ever take a break, man? Right? Okay, let's try not to lose a rim in one of these potholes. I don't need fuel. I just want to go through here. Ah, man. Damn it. This keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, look at that motorhome, too. Oh, man. Just massive potholes. Yikes. Whoops, whoops, whoops. parking lot is just chaos. Everybody's just parked wherever they want to park. Right? So, I guess we'll do the same. I'm going to turn to my left here and park right beside this guy and just run in. It seems to be what everybody else is doing. So they don't have any lines painted down here. It's an asphalt driveway, but they don't paint any lines. So, of course, everyone's going to just be all confused, not know where to park. There we go. Okay, we're not going to be here long. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. So, yeah, this is where I got my little microphone just pinned to the side right here. I think I noticed in uh, one of my last clips that if I have my window open and I'm climbing a hill, the mic picks up my turbo a bit too much. And it's, it was really grating in the ears. I might have to cut that footage out. Hopefully it doesn't disrupt the storyline too much. But, uh... Flying through here. Thanks, man. Yeah, here, come with me. Come with me. Uh, so, yeah. That's where I have it mounted right now. I don't know if I like it there yet because it's really close to the window. I'd like to have my window open, but that that's definitely going to pick up all the noise from that. I just don't know where else I can pin it. But I have some time yet. I'll figure it out. So let me know what you guys think of that. Okay, then we're going to test this out this week. And if you guys say no uh, over the next couple of days, it's not good camera microphone was better and we'll go back to that let me go inside grab a coffee i don't want to waste too much time here we're back oh that sun is right in my face i'm so glad we're heading east so that i don't have that sun in my face all day today and we're probably getting up late enough tomorrow that the sun won't be in my face first thing in the morning that'll be nice it won't be first thing in the morning it'll just be first thing in the morning for me a little bit of coffee here and uh yeah so my weight loss uh has been making progress again. Remember I started off at 228 pounds a few months ago when I started like really getting ambitious again about this. I want to get rid of this extra weight I have on me. Oh, I, I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired of it. So we're starting these new uh, 
routines that I'm working with and uh, it's been working. So I went from 228 in about four weeks. This has been five weeks. Five weeks, I'm down to 214 and I want to get below 200. That's the, that's the bare minimum goal. I want to get down to about 180 and then keep it between 180 and 190, 200 max as the ceiling for my weight from now on. Uh, but we're, we're getting there, 14 more pounds, and we're, we're, we'll be at our main goal or bare minimum. So hopefully that continues. I also moved the mic. I noticed that when I get in and out of the truck, when I hand it over here, my shoulder bumps it and it knocks it out of the truck. So that's not fun. So I, I found this up here. How about that, eh? I know that I had this little hook in there and it fits in here just perfectly. I don't know how it's going to be when it's going down the road, if it's going to shake around too much and maybe make some noise, but I'm going to try it there. This will be a, a vlog of experimentation with the mics, right? So it's hard to try. Let's get back on the road. Do I have a dirty forehead? Oh no, it's just the way the sun's on. And my hair, man, my hair's long. Oh, I need to take care of that. I need some i going to have to groom myself before I get to the customer. That's for sure. Can't show up looking like this. Look at me. Yeesh. All right. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Okay, let's get out of the sun. Yikes. All right. these potholes. It's insane. Let's see, I'm going to go around this side of it. That's bad. Into the night. That sun is going to set fast now. stopping place for me at their Walmart. It's their Walmart up here off to the right. They used to have um, truck parking there. It was nice and truckers stopped there all the time, but some truckers must have ruined it and were probably leaving their garbage all over the place and who knows what else around the trucks there, the stuff you don't want to step in. So now they had to shut that down so trucks aren't allowed to park there anymore. Way to ruin it for everyone, guys. But I used to, yeah, I used to, it was always perfect because it was like three and a half hours down the road from when I started my trip eastbound. And then I'm going through Canada for the next couple of days so I could stop and pick up some produce, right? Have some fresh fruit and stuff in the truck because I can't take fresh fruit and stuff across the border. So I can only have that in my truck when I'm staying on one side or the other. So it just worked out that I'd always stop here and always give them some of my money, right? And now they get none of my money because now they can't. They don't let trucks park there. It's coming up here on the right. And I don't blame them because, you know, in Canada especially, I've noticed that truck stops, like it's in the States too, but it's, it's a little bit different in Canada still. It seems a little bit worse how these truck stops are just turning into absolute, like disgusting, you may compare it to like a dirty bathroom. 
used to be able to park in it. Now there's big signs. No trucks, no commercial vehicles. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh, well. You know, that's why I make these videos, and that's why I encourage us all and everybody who knows who they are to do better. You guys watch my video right now. It's not you. Don't worry about it. I'm not looking at you. You know who I'm looking at. It's those guys who everybody sees at the truck stop who make a mess of it, right? Could be girls, too. It's just those drivers who have no regard for cleanliness. They just throw their garbage out, and you know, sometimes you confront them. You're like, hey, man, throw out the garbage. And they literally say, no, that's what the employees are paid to do. They're paid to pick up this garbage. What? What kind of mindset is that? Where do you get that from? <laughs> oh, well. I don't mean to complain, but I did want to make a point of it, saying that it's too bad we can't stop at Walmart and drive anymore, because there's obviously been a few people who have ruined it for everybody else. <laughs> All right, well, we're not going to make it nearly as far as I wanted to. It's late already. Uh, I'm getting really tired. And we're stopping here in Shania, just east of Thunder Bay at the Flying J. See if I can find myself a parking spot here. It looks pretty full already. It won't, oh no, there's some room here. It won't change when I get to my customer. So, I figured, why push myself if I don't have to, right? I think there's some parking just off here to the right. I don't know, no one else is parked there. But I am going to park here. I might have to go turn around and get a better angle at this, but we'll find ourselves a spot. I thought it was gonna be packed here. Quite a bit of space to park. There we go. At first I lined myself up with this guy. And then I realized that guy is crooked. So then I lined myself up straight. Is that guy straight over there? I don't know. Makes me feel better. But yeah, it's time to go to bed. I'm gonna sleep for a quick eight hours. And then we're gonna get on the way. See how far we can make it tomorrow. Probably try to get at least 1,100 kilometers or 650 to 700 miles done tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out with me. I thought we'd be hanging out a little bit, little bit longer, but <laughs> I wanted to get to Hearst, but I realized I'd only be getting to Hearst at about 5, 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> That's too late. The sun's already coming up by then, and I can't sleep very well when the sun is up, so I'll get a better sleep here. I'll see you tomorrow, though, right? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be very scenic going through northern Ontario. Not quite sure where we'll make it to. Probably past North Bay or maybe close to North Bay or Sudbury. That area there. We'll see. Stay safe out there, everyone. It's a crazy world. See you tomorrow.